Hey y'all, APG Jamie here, and today I have part two of our you stencil, we stencil, I stencil series. It's a three-part series, okay? It's sponsored by iStencils.com. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know, just keep watching me, okay? Just keep watching what I'm doing, and I'm going to tell you some stuff. Okay, with iStencils.com, there's a 25% off the entire site, excludes gifts cards and that's December 6th through December 14th of 2019 and uh, there is a coupon code you'll use at checkout and that is APG25 and um, if you spend after the coupon code is applied y'all if you spend $50 US denomination or more you get free shipping in the US uh, only Okay, they do ship internationally, and that's typically estimated to be about $12. Uh, yeah, U.S. denomination for shipping there, so that's pretty reasonable, I think. Okay, um, I got lots, lots of stuff because YouTube has added uh, this stuff with the giveaways, and uh, they sure don't make it easy to just give people stuff. I tell you what. So I've got official rules. Be sure to uh, read those in the description box below. All right, y'all? It's very important. There's lots of information in there. And I'm just going to hit some of the highlights, okay? Official rules. Partial official rules. Read the description box, y'all. You must... Oh, there's no purchase necessary. First and foremost... You must be 18 years old or older. You must comment on this video by December 13, 2019. Non-commenters are disqualified. I know you kind of think that's self-explanatory, but they said I had to put some, you know, I had to specify what was disqualified. Okay. So, comment must include actual real words. You know, emojis and symbols and our symbols are, they don't count as a comment, okay? And they're disqualified. One winner, one random winner will be picked by YouTube random comment pin picker. Hmm. Uh, the winner video will be posted on December 14th. It will include the winner's YouTube user ID. The winner will have five days to email me. Okay? It's in the description box below, y'all. And please note the word contact is actually part of my email address. Okay? So, um, yeah. I'm not responsible for misdirected emails. All right. So, uh, and it tells you what you'll need to email me. Uh, the giveaway is open internationally, and it does not include shipping for U.S. or international people. Just saying. Um, if the winner does not contact me within a specified period of five days, I will have to pick a random, a replacement random commenter. It will be by the same means as this one. And again, they'll have five days to get in touch with me. And remember, the word contact is part of my actual email address, just like it's typed below, y'all. Um, no purchase necessary. I know I already said that. Um... um Okay, uh, the co random commenter can only win once in a uh, uh, video series, which means you want to comment on all three of the videos, y'all, okay, before December 13, 2019, uh, but if you win on the first video, you can't win for the second ones, but we're not having the draw until they're all over, all three of them are up, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Deadline to enter, December 13th. Um, thank you and good luck. There's more. Read the, the description box for the official rules. Okay. Oh, speaking of, the YouTube guidelines link is listed down there, and YouTube is not a sponsor, and your decision to enter by comment on this video releases them from any and all from any and all liability related to this giveaway. Thank you and good luck. <laughs> Be 
if you haven't seen part one, go ahead and go back and watch that. It was posted on December 6th, and today is December 7th that this one is being posted. 2019, y'all. Um, so, and there will be a part three on December 8th, 2019. Okay? And uh, don't forget that 25% off the entire site of iStencils.com that does include, exclude, it excludes the gift cards. Okay? Oh, and the winner, the random comment winner, will get a $25 gift card to iStencils.com. There are lots and lots of artists uh, that have stencils on there. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read off all the ones that I used in this particular video series, and uh, they are listed in in the manner in which they appeared in the video, starting with video one. So I I don't know y'all, because some of them I didn't use in video one. I didn't use till video two. Okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna read them off to you, and if y'all got questions, just comment, because uh, you're gonna want to comment anyway. Just saying. Ask me in, in the comments. and um, Or you can email or whatever. You know, whatever makes you happy. I'm not Didi. Um, okay, so this is essentially was featuring Joan Smithy's new release that came out in August of 2019. Although, I've used lots of other artists. Well, maybe not lots. I've used other artist work. Okay. Now, Joan Smithy stencils are listed on iStencils.com under the name of Patty Tolly Parish. Okay. We know and we love her too. And she's got videos over there too. Just saying, because she got some good videos over there about jelly plating and stencils and mm, love. Okay. So, the stencils I used in this series was. Oh, Joan Smithies is represented with a JS. And so that's Joan Smithy JS Manic Madness. Oh, the description box actually has the uh, the actual uh, stencil numbers in there too, but I'm not going to read that part because I just all of a sudden got terribly lazy. JS Manic Madness. JS Tumbleweed. People love that one. I'm just saying, I love it. I love all these. I picked them, y'all. Well, I picked some of them. Some of them were just a surprise. Um, JS Chicken Wire, JS Abstract Confusion, JS Scattered. Y'all see me working with that I, I Deco um, foil film there? Mm, love it. Um, JS Scattered. Joan Smithy's freebie, which you got in August of 2019 if you ordered any of her stencils back then. Okay. Now, here's Kathy Holden, and she's represented with the CH, and that, that's her lace. And then we have the Moon and the Maker, KP, and that's represented with the KP, y'all. And that's text boxes. And then we got Donna Downey, which is a DD, and she's rec represented with, or represented with the DD. Y'all just tumble all over the place, don't I? So that's uh, DD Collage Portrait, okay. Then we have another KP Whimsy Lace, and another Kathy Holden Cigar. Mm, love that one. I actually, I love all of them, but you know, some of them sometimes you just kind of favor a little more. And then we have KP Botanical Backdrop and a JS Variety and a uh, Donna Downey DD Art is Script. And then we have another Joan Smithies JS ATC Mixed Media, which is great for working on ATC size things. And actually, any of these stencils can be worked on, uh, used on any size uh, project, y'all. You just need to, um, it just depends on how you place it on your project, okay? And you can make artist trading cards, and you can make postcards and backgrounds for your journals. And uh, like I say, you can use these on your wall, and you can use them on fabric. And, you know, just, just, there's just, it's just endless what you can do with these stencils. Is that good stencils, y'all? Oh, and they have an angel policy on their, on the iStencils.com website. It's on, um, 
on the menu tab is FAQ, which is Frequently Asked Questions, y'all. And that, that angel policy is on there. And I have a link down below to that as well. So, um, we'll just proceed on. So, I've done all kinds of things. I kept a list, sort of. Oh, sort of, y'all. Because, you know, this is just technique rich. Just saying, technique rich. So, as you can see here, I'm sponging gesso. This is gesso through the stencil. Now, I also did paint through the stencil and ink through the stencil. Okay, which y'all, oh no, that's not gesso, that's glue for heaven's sakes, that's glue, y'all. My favorite glue, too, at that. And uh, that's glitter, I used glitter, look. Oh, it's glitter. <laughs> so my, my little cheat sheet here is not even in order, y'all. Okay, but we did, uh, we, we did paint and ink and gesso and glue evidently through through the uh, through the stencil and we did I think we did some spray ink through the stencil and we did some heat foil pen stuff and we did heat embossing and if you haven't seen it yet it's still coming up in the video because it's kind of a long video y'all but so it goes part two okay uh, we've got stencil reduction. We've got ink through the stencil. Oh, I already said that. We got double layered stencil. We've got stamping through the stencil. We've got rubbing over the stencil. Yes. And we got full film and glue. And we got glue and glitter. And we got packing tape and iridescent medium and gloss gel and crackle medium and perfect pearls. And holy smokes! <sighs> I might have ran out of breath. <laughs> Here I've got the packing tape on the back of this stencil. Now you do, if you're going to use packing tape, you do want to use it on a not so delicate stencil, y'all. You want some of your hefty, hefty bits on there, okay? Our Paula Journal Artista. All right, who's amazing? She's got a lot of a lot of jelly art stuff and stencil work over there. She's got a technique of doing magazine um, stuff with packing tape and all that. And uh, I've not tried it because I'm scared of it, y'all. I don't know why I'm scared of it, but I'm normal. I get scared of things too, just like everybody, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. So anyway. I'll try to put a link in the iCards up above to Journal Artista. Okay, so you can check her out. She's she's she may be coming back online. Mm-hmm. Saturdays. And I will also put a uh, link to uh Patty Tala Parish who does amazing things with uh eye stencils and uh the jelly plate, y'all. Just saying. Cause we're gonna be using one of her techniques later on. I think that's in part three, okay, of one of her recent discoveries that is just going like wildfire, y'all. Wildfire. So, Technique Rich, have a watch and see. Coupon code for December 6th through December 14th of 2019 is APG. 25 that's at iStencils.com y'all okay so I'm pulling that off gently look at that it's perfect pearls y'all you could probably do this with glitter or I don't know what else okay because there's a technique of pulling uh, leftover crusty bits off a jelly plate with packing tape as well I didn't do that in this particular series okay okay but there there's you can do that so this one, uh, because it is sticky, I am putting it down. If any place doesn't stick, especially on the edges, you can put just a little bit of glue underneath there. And y'all know my favorite glue, Aileen's Original Tacky Glue. Just saying. And this is so pretty. I just love this. Oh, I didn't mention that I was using cardstock and uh, 110 cardstock and just plain copy paper, printer paper, whatever kind of plain old white paper you want to call it, okay? And... Um, we made all our prints uh, off the jelly plate in the first uh, part one. Now I'm putting some um, 
concealer over that glitter because I don't want that glitter coming off, y'all, because that just, glitter just gets everywhere. So we're just sealing that down now that it got nice and dry, y'all. Really nice and dry. So um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe we'll think of it again. Maybe not. So... Oh, I, that's what I was saying. I cut uh, all my, because I used just a, a regular letter size, which is 8.5 by 10 here in the U.S. And I've cut them down to, y'all, I don't remember the size. It's less than a 5 by 7. So there we go. Because y'all remember that, um, that no-sew journal I did back in... Um, October, early November. Yeah, one of them. I'll try to put a link to it in the upper eye camp cards and in the description box below. Which, I might say the description box below is full, y'all. There is just a lot of stuff down there. Okay? You're going to want to comment. So, um, anyway... That's what I decided because when I first made it, I'm like, I had no plans for it. And then all of a sudden, I decided, I'm like, yes, we're going to use these. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Oh, here's the gesso. Evidently, I did not keep my list in order. I sure thought I did, but I guess not. Maybe I, maybe I went back and tried to write down what I remembered. I don't know because it's been just forever ago because I had to work on those official rules. Oh. Makes me want to not do giveaways anymore. Just saying. Just just throwing that out there. Even though I might. So, um, anyway. There's definitely a giveaway in this series. You really want, you're going to want to comment on each video in this series. Just saying. By December 13th of 2019, that is. <sighs> After that, still feel free to comment, but you won't be able to be, it will be entered into the um, the $25 gift card to iStencils.com giveaway. Just saying, because I do love you. And questions. Don't forget to ask me questions. If you got questions, because I know stuff. Look at this one, y'all. Don't you love that? I love that one. We're going to use some... Um, some gel medium on this. That's a glossy gel medium, y'all. It's pretty thin and it works very well. Now, I do clean, wipe off the stencil front and back in between because it is, it, it's, you know, this is thin stuff and it will each just kind of scrooch up underneath the edge of, of the stencil a little bit. And that's just a wet baby wipe. Just wiping off the front and the back and now I've got a sticky surface and. <sighs> Got to leave that to dry forever. Well, not really forever. Just a while. So, just lining it up however I want to line it up. She can use these stencils. I mean, you know, you're just limited by your imagination, y'all. That's all. Putting it on that side. Because I've got two, two, two for each page and... Now it's dried, right? Now I'm going to go over it with the wash. Wash. That's just some acrylic paint. And I watered it down pretty good. Not terrible much, but pretty good, y'all. So it's pretty thin. See? Can you see the shiny shimmer on there? That's the gloss on there, y'all. Now the gloss gel is going to act as a resist in this, resist in this case. It's going to resist this uh, wash. And I'm leaving it sit there for a minute or two. And now we're going to wipe it off. And you're going to want to turn your uh, wet baby wipe, damp wet baby wipe, so that you have a, a clean surface to go to. Okay. Doesn't that look cool? I think it looks cool. I like using gesso as a resist, too, y'all. Just saying. That's one of my favorite techniques. Put down your gesso first through the stencil and let that dry. And then you put a, a thing on top. Now, this is a, a golden crackle sample that I got uh, at my local art league that we had um, Golden came in and talked to us at, at one of our at our show at our fall show and so we all got a little sample and I got a little sample of the uh, crackle medium and uh, I don't know if this is how it's, uh, this is how I chose to put it on because I wanted to put it on through the stencil y'all 
And this works pretty good using that little squeegee. I think, in my opinion, it worked pretty good. I know it's kind of a long video. Be sure to read the official official rules below. Mm -hmm. And a list of ingredients, y'all, because y'all going to want these stencils. Just saying. Mm. So this is one. This is the crackle one. It's all dry. You got to let it dry, y'all. And you can't see the crackles because they came out really tiny fine. But you might can see them um, later. Or maybe when I hold it up and tilt it and twist it and stuff, you might be able to see them there. Now I'm putting on the darker color there so that it will fill in the little teeny tiny cracks on the, the crackle part there. Or the crackle medium, y'all. Just saying. Yes. Love it. And that's a wet or damp baby wipe. Can you see the dip? Yeah, you can. This little bit. Oh, but it's so cool in real life. Real life being in person, that is, y'all. Okay. Now, there's not really a photo montage on part two. Part one had just a little bit of a flip through for the uh, for the the prints that we made. Okay, part two really really doesn't have a photo montage. Now part three, that got a photo montage. Y'all gonna want to watch that tomorrow, unless it's already posted. In which case, you need to watch it today. So we're just wiping it off, and that's pretty much. Uh, taking it off everywhere except the little cracks and crevices this looks so cool y'all now they do recommend that you seal up uh, crackle medium stuff because it can crack and pull off your surface I've not had that issue working with it on paper but it might could be an issue so be sure to read your instructions on all the mediums that you use y'all I appreciate each and every one of you your kind comments you want to comment on this one I'm just saying your likes your shares your subscriptions if you've not already done so please take a moment to subscribe thanks for watching and happy arting y'all